Just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. looks like an arena that's right they used to stage fights here pit me against other kids I loved it only time I was ever out of my cell what were they studying hell if I know maybe that's how they got their kicks I never understood anything that happened here how often did they do this I was in a cell my whole life sometimes they took me out and made me fight filled me with drugs other stuff time gets funny in a cell did other children die in these fights I was a kid Filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. Let's keep moving. Hell yeah. Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin to... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation.
This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. been spotted. Small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were a part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb.
kept kids here? Two-way mirror? My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Take it. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Kill them on my... My own... On the ground, now! 
kill them like that. is my old so whoever I want to plant the bomb there anyway might as well do it on his corpse Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question. And I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this. But a place like this... It doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. Get out of here! Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different.
Disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Commander, what can I do for you? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard.
Protectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Hey, Commander. Glad we figured out Jack is crazy, because I was really up in the air, just hanging there. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? No, thank you. Just passing through. Next. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? 
Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mounts? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry, then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat, and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll take it. I still say we should join the Blue Suns. They'd probably pay for our equipment. They probably only hire you if you look like you can fight. So we need something to start with. Right. Like the shotgun. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. No problem. Well, okay. That might be more difficult. No, that's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same house. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but... I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse. I swear that you won't be named. 
All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. The worst thing about Extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. <laughs> get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game! Think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used here. Hiroshima!
I just talked him on the war market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need to go? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor controls. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. It's a delicacy back on Earth. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Ah, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the C-Sec charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? I plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I place my faith in you, Shepard. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another Works for me. No! Do you 
know what I'll do to you when I get out of here. Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Like the guy who's gonna sue your ass for assault. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. Alright. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment. The 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? Well, I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias, I'll... as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stack the new council with humans and yes-men. Anderson does his best to be diplomatic, but they act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. I will. And I'll do it through legal processes, not by a coup attempt. And don't forget, my friends, there are treasonous elements in our own house. The humans seize power by themselves, but they can't hold on to it without the support of the lesser races. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other races wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy. Do the humans? No! They conveniently show up right after the Council's been killed. They surround us with warships. They dictate terms. That's not how we do things. We respect tradition. Humans think anything ten years old is obsolete. Worthless. How can they contribute to a two thousand year old government? Have we seen anything good since the humans moved into Zakara Ward? <laughs> I like their food. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. I can't eat human food. <laughs> 